Who boy, Louis C.K. sure has a lot of jokes about God. I'm gonna have to sit down for this one. I'm shivering right now because it's raining, but it's not just raining, it's raining ice. So unlike snow that just comes right off, this soaks Asher and I, and you can feel it in your bones. That God created the earth for you, why would you not be, have to look after it? Why the fuck? Why would you not think that when he came back, he wouldn't go, what the fuck did you do? I gave this to you, mo Okay, we found some shelter. Okay, the word God is unfortunately taboo in much of our society. So if you'll please allow me to use the word creation to signify the source of creation, it may be more comfortable for some. So this Louis C.K. joke, although hilarious, is unfortunately what a lot of people think creation is, which is ridiculous and even dangerous to our growth in understanding consciousness. We are putting anthropomorphic depictions onto creation meaning we're giving the source of creation human-like traits. That creation is like a judgmental, all-powerful parent that will judge us at some point. If you think about it logically, that which is absolute reality, ultimate power, has no needs. It already is all that is. It has no need to judge or give favor to anyone. Infinite power doesn't need anything. Like the sky doesn't need the clouds or punish the clouds for being gray and raining. It just is. It is ridiculous to think that creation did its thing and disappeared to judge us later, like a supreme judge that is absent until the world ends or when we die. How can creation be a big bang, a flash in the pan, and then everything is left to what? Randomness? Does that even make sense? Of course not. Creation is ongoing and forever, and it manifests itself over millennia through evolution, and it continues to manifest itself through our consciousness, which is collective. Just like we are now connected through data, through the internet, our consciousness is connected from the source of creation. That is incidentally why the muscle test works. And I know I owe you guys a video explaining the muscle test, but I'm trying to think of a very comprehensive way, a more interesting way to explain it to you guys. So please bear with me. But if you want to go to the source of it, please look up Dr. David Hawkins.